I got all this stuff for only $32. Digging for treasures, one of my favorite things to do at the Goodwill bins. So stay tuned to see everything that I got. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, this is a haul from the previous uh, uh, picking video that you've seen where I went to the Goodwill bins. There was actually part one and part two, so if you missed those, make sure you go check those out. Um, this trip, I ended up finding a lot of good things. I only ended up spending $32 on everything that I got, so I'm going to show you everything right now. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the glass, the two glass pieces that I picked up. I picked up this clear, um, beautiful candy dish. It is etched, as you can see, on the bowl and on the, um, it's cut to clear on there. It's, it is like, etched on there, so you can feel it and it's in great shape. I love the lid. It's like in pulley style. I'm not for sure the maker of this um, dish, but it was in perfect condition. No chips or cracks. And bring back the clear dish, um, the clear glass, right? So I thought this was beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I was happy to pick that up. I'm going to set that on the table so it doesn't break. And then the other glass item that I picked up was this beautiful Nile. I believe this is Jeanette glass. Um, I could be wrong, but it is really pretty green glass candy dish. Um, I love the feet on there. Again, no chips or cracks whatsoever. Uh, I love the pattern and I thought this would be really cute for a, um, item in one of my, um, like a St. Patty's Day live sale. So, and I like the handle. It's a great pattern. Really nice candy dish. So I got those two glass dishes right there for when no chips or cracks. Awesome. Then... I got this cute, cute candle. I love the face. I love anything with like faces or like anthropomorphic, you know, that kind of de design or style. And I just thought this pumpkin candle was cute. And then I flipped it over and I believe it is a little bit vintage. Um, there's the bottom. It's the old, old Lantern Candle family, Northern Lights Candles. Um, Todd Masters. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, but I just, I loved it. It caught my eye. So I definitely picked that up. Now on to the sacks and stuff. Okay. Now, before I get to the sacks real quick, I have to tell you, oh, I could kick myself. Um, Always make sure you guys look things up. It, it, if you're a reseller, I have learned that it is very important to look things up um, before just like putting it back on the shelf or putting it back in the Goodwill bin, for instance. And that's exactly what happened to me. Um, You've seen me pick up two things and that I ended up putting back that I wish I would have kept because they sell for decent money. The first thing was, um, it was the Tonka truck. It was night flyer, I believe is what it was called. And I put it back because the bottom was plastic. The top was metal, I think, but the bottom was plastic and wrong, bad idea. I looked them up when I got home and they sell for quite a bit of money. I should have looked it up when I was at the store before I put it back when I got the other truck because I did end up getting the other one because I kept that in my cart and I looked it up and I'm like, duh, 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 bad mistake. 
Um, and then my other thing that I wish I would have not put back was the ice cream scoop, the vintage ice cream scoop, because that brand sells for pretty decent money as well. So, um, note to self, look, the, if you have it in your cart, make sure you, if it catches your eye at first, make sure you look it up before you put it back in the bin. Okay, now, this is the truck that I did it, I'm getting. Um, when I got it in the bins, it was covered with stickers. I don't know if you guys seen that in the video or not, but it did, it had stickers all over it and I ended up peeling all those off and it is in really good shape. I got all the stickers off and the sticker residue, really nice shape. The only thing that's wrong with it is the front part. This would have originally had a yellow bar type thing that came out. Um, it is broken off. So I've looked, when I looked them up, there was some that had the bar and then some that did not, some that were broken off just like this. And this one is in better condition than most of the ones that I've seen on there, but I will put comps up here so you guys can see what they sell for. But this is, um, a Nylant in Y-L-I-N-T Corp. Um, Rockford, Illinois, made in the USA. And this is a metal, it's all metal truck. Well, the wheels are plastic, but. Awesome. So these sell for pretty decent money. That was a good find. I wish I would have looked up the other one while I was at the bins. Bad mistake on my part, like I said, but. Okay, then I found this. Oops. Now, this one is in really good shape. It is not loose. I know a lot of the times when I find these, they're like really loose and um, not sturdy. This one is a very, very sturdy, nice, and it barely weighs anything. And I know people like to use these to hang up scarves or belts or even coffee cups, what it's originally intended for. Um, you can hang it either way, up and down or like this. And it just folds up like an accordion in really nice shape. So I picked up that. It barely weighed anything. And then I found this. You seen me find this. This is awesome. Okay, so it is the Big Bad Wolf, the Grandma, and Little Red Riding Hood. And she is in really good condition. This doll, it's a topsy-turvy doll. I absolutely love it. I think they're so stinking cute and adorable. And this one, like I said, is in really, really nice shape. I mean, look at that face. And then there's the big bad wolf. So this was a really fun find in the bins. I, like I say, a lot of the times it's, not always all about the huge money-making scores, which those are nice, you know. But I like going to the bins to rescue treasures that are on their way to the trash. Like, because I know I can find somebody that is going to appreciate that topsy-turvy doll as much as I do. And the something on there is making me my nose itch. Um, but I know so I can find somebody that will appreciate that topsy-turvy doll like I do. So, rather it go into the trash, I'd rather it find a home. And then I found this vintage um, Wiley Coyote, I believe this is. And this is the Looney Tunes. Um, no, anything Looney Tunes sells usually pretty quickly. Um, especially vintage Looney Tunes. This one is from... 1994 so really good condition no ribs or tears and it still has its tag and that says looney tunes and then the date on there so really nice fun find right here and then i found this awesome hat oh my goodness i love the valley and it has a pom-pom on the top of it it is a vintage snapback hat the inside a lot of the times when you find these vintage hats the foam will be all tore up and you know in not good shape this one's in almost perfect condition really nice there's the snapback and then here is the tag 
So awesome find in the bins. It barely weighs anything. And I thought this was so much fun. And then I found this. Now there's, I don't have a key, unfortunately, and there wasn't one in the bins with it. Um, but I didn't want to leave it behind. I can't open it. There's nothing inside of it, but it's just for decoration purpose. I absolutely love it. This tin, um, it is made in West Germany. I thought in the video, I think I said it was made in the USA, but it says, Reading PA USA, but then on the bottom in the circle it says made in Western Western Germany. So really nice decorative fun piece. Look at the so pretty. I love the design on there. And I didn't want to leave that behind because that's really nice for decoration. And then this was one of my favorite finds. I absolutely love it. Like I said, some of you might be thinking gross, but I'm thinking dollar signs. Um, this awesome vintage green bathroom scale. I will vacuum it up and, you know, clean it. It's not that dirty, but I will vacuum it up, clean it up a little bit, fluff it up. It does work. I did get on it and it does work. That is the brand right there. I looked these up and these sell for decent money. Again, I will put comps up there so you can see comps, but it is a vintage Borg bathroom scale, the fuzzy bathroom scale. So how fun is that? And it's green. This is like perfect, perfect for any vintage house. If you're going for the vintage, um, 60s 70s look in your house that scale is absolutely perfect and i can ship at flat rate i believe so it won't cost a ton of money to ship now on to the second sack i found this now normally you know i wouldn't pick up i wouldn't have thought anything of it but i'm like hmm i just that looks we different to me. So I picked it up and I looked inside and I'm like, oh, it's a vintage hat. And the inside's in good shape. And then I look at the label and the label says dyed Tuscan lamb made in Italy. So I thought that was very unique and a lot of people like to collect vintage clothes and vintage linens and stuff like that. So I thought this would be perfect for somebody's collection. I have never found a lamb or anything like that before. I know some people don't like real fur, but some people do. Some people prefer it. Not everyone's the same and that's okay. And I don't discriminate. So I'm... If for either or. I think everybody's entitled to have an opinion in their own style. Then I found this vintage Mel jewelry box. I believe that's how you pronounce it. M-E-L-E. -E. Um, it is nice. I need to clean it up a little bit. You know, it looks like it has a little bit of age wear, but not too bad. Um, you Sometimes when you find these, they'll be all in crappy condition. Then when you open it up, it is gorgeous. Look at that red velvet in there. You know, a couple little spots, but nothing too bad. Not ripped or anything. Really good shape. And look, isn't that so cute? I believe those are sea. No, they're not seahorses. They're just designs, but really nice, nice shape. And here is the brand on the back. There's where it's stamped. There's the bottom, so nice little jewelry box. I thought that was a nice little find. And then I found one lonely vintage brass butterfly. I didn't want to leave it in the bins behind by itself. I'm, I like to find these in pairs or sets, but there was just one, so it flew in my cart. <laughs> And then same with this enamel cup. Uh, you know, not a lot of resale value on this, but these 
I thought this would be really cute to make a Valentine's or Christmas assemblage. A little Christmas assemblage or Valentine's assemblage with it being red. Has the distressed look on there and it is just an enamel cup. So some, you know, again, like I said, saving it from the trash. Not a high resale value, but. And then I found this brush. Now this is a nice, nice heavy metal, um, I would say silver design or pewter maybe. I don't know, but I really like it. I like the style and it's a vintage brush. Again, rescuing it. <laughs> And then I found these. Now this one's Mrs. Pac-Man and this one's Frogger. They both work. Um, they've We've tested them both. We put batteries in them and plugged them into the TV and Luke played them both and they both work. So awesome find. An awesome, awesome rescue out of the bins. I love these little TV games. You know, they're like, the, they remind me of the old school. Um, let me see if I can find a date. This one's from 2004. The Miss Pac-Man is from 2004. And then the Frogger is... I don't know. I don't see a date on the Frogger. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see a date on the Frogger. But awesome that they both work. Mrs. Pac-Man and Frogger. Then I found this awesome, awesome bag. I absolutely love it. So 80s style. Um, it's got the slit in it. I was like, why is it like that? What is this? Um, but it fits perfectly. Why it's got the slit? Because it's... That, that's why. It's like a purse bag. It is awesome. Here, let me scoot you guys back a minute. And, so you can see what I mean. Isn't that awesome? I absolutely love it. I think it's so stinking cute and adorable. And I was really happy to find that. It's got the thick handle. This would hold so much stuff. I'm gonna like have a hard time getting myself to sell this because it's so awesome. Oh, it is a here is the brand. Um, the tag is E N R Evolution, not Revolution. So I'm gonna have to look that up, but it definitely looks vintage. There's the tag, and then see it has this pocket on the inside and a zipper. The zipper works great. I didn't even know this pocket was in here. So that's pretty cool. Went checking the pockets. That's awesome. I really, really, really like this purse bag a lot. So I'm gonna have to look that brand up. If I find anything about it, I'll put it up there in the corner. It could hold so much stuff. I love the splatter. I love that look. And then I found this. Now, I already have a basketball one that I listed, um, or I have listed at the moment. Um, now, I have a football one. So, I might take the basketball listing down and then list this up with the basketball one. This is a football one, and it is from 1981 from Tommy Corp. It's a vintage Tommy game. So I thought that was a lot of fun. It is complete. Um, it is. And here's the little man. Isn't that cute? So I thought that was so much fun. Really happy to find that. I like finding the vintage games. 
out of the bin. And then the last things that I picked up were these two um, vintage metal bar trays. I like that they are in really good condition. The graphics or illustrations, whatever, not illustrations, but graphics image on there is in nice shape because there's not many scratches. On the back, there is some scratches and wear, but you know, nothing too bad. It's still in really good condition. And this, they are signed right there or stamped by the maker which is James L. Artig. And before I bought these, I did look them up. See the colors, aren't they? It's just so nice. I really like them. Um, and there's where that one is. And I did look them up and they do sell for okay money. You know, not huge money makers, but they do sell for okay money. So I will put comps to them up there. Okay, and then I got some vintage Christmas. Cute mistletoe. I absolutely love it. In great condition. You know, it's missing a little bit of the flocked here and there, but, you know, nothing too bad because it is flocked, like the velvet material, you know absolutely stunning it's got the inside mistletoe super cute kitschy vintage christmas love finding that in the bins and then i also found this vintage kitschy oh careful missy vintage kitschy christmas santa assemblage it is the foam so I'll have to find like a cute tin or basket or something cute to stick it in. Um, at Christmas time, I'll probably put it back for like a Christmas sale. But look at that Santa, how kitschy and cute he is. So stinking adorable. Cute assemblage, doesn't barely weigh anything. And so I definitely wanted to rescue that. And then I found these cute, cute, cute. pair of homecomb Christmas mice. I think these are absolutely sticking adorable. No chips or cracks, missing a little bit of the cold paint, you know, here and there, but nothing too bad. They are so stinking adorable. I love their little faces. They're so kitschy and cute. And these definitely crawled in my cart. But one of my favorite finds, my absolutely favorite finds, I wish I would have found it in pristine condition, but I'm glad that I got to rescue it and save it before it got any more damaged, was this. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a project piece for me. Um, it has been repaired, so it's got like the yellow glue. So I'm going to, I googled a few tips on how to remove that yellow glue without damaging the piece anymore. So I'm going to try those tips and see if I can get that yellowish old glue off of there because it has been repaired. But And it, you can see it's missing a head and it's missing a tail. But I was able to dig through the bins and find the head. So awesome. And the tail. So, I will be working on that, re-gluing it and repairing it. I did not find the antlers. It does have this broken antler and these two broken antlers. I couldn't find them, so that's sad, but that's okay. I can try to find some less, like gold paint and just paint them gold. I still want to try to save it. It is Noel awesome and i believe this is rel relpo relco i i don't know i found it and i did research and here are comps up here i know mine is not going to sell for that much money because it has damage but i don't care i think it's beautiful and i was so 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 happy to save that from the bins 
I was so happy to rescue that from the trash, like going to the trash. And then I found this cute little kitschy Santa. He is the tree hugger, you know, your branch. You can just hang him on your branch of your Christmas tree. And he's so stinking cute. Plastic face. Adorable. He's dirty because he was at the bottom of the bins. But I was happy to save him as well. <laughs> And then I always pick up these, especially if I find them in the bins because they don't weigh anything and they are perfect for your blow molds to light up your blow molds. And yes, so self, basically self-explanatory there. Love it. And then I found this. It is a vintage Swedish horse. Um, it has... It's the Nils Olsen, and it does have its original sticker on the bottom. These are collectible, and people do buy these. The Wood Swedish Horse, and I love the colors. Really nice shape. And then my last find, as you guys seen in the video, was this awesome box of... Uh, vintage nesting dolls. Now there's pieces. Um, some have four sets of four. Some have sets of three. They, you know, not all of them are complete. But I, it was awesome to find this set in here. You know, some of them are rabbits. Oops. Some of them are wooden rabbits. Um, some of them are clowns. Some of them are pirates. Just, oh. Here's a cute little little girl. I mean, there's all kinds in here. So I'll probably, here's a clown. You know, I'll probably just sell it, this in a live sale as a random lot. You know, tell some have sets of four, some have sets of three, some have sets of two, some are just not even complete. Just a box. They could do whatever they wanted with them. That was an awesome find. I wish they would have all been complete, but that's okay. I think I did quite well for only spending $32. What do you guys think? All right, guys, that was everything I got from the Goodwill bins. Like I said, I only spent $32 on all that stuff. I had so much fun hunting and searching and digging for treasures. It's my relaxing me time. And um, if I can make some decent money at the same time, well, then that's awesome as well. So, um, as always, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters. The link is in the description below as well. Um, no spaces, just all together, junktobeloved at gmail.com. Um... And I also list on Facebook Marketplace and on eBay. So those links will also be in the description below. And then a lot of the things that you see me pick up, I sell in my live sales. Um, I have my live sales usually every Sunday and Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. Um because I try to do it every Sunday and Monday, 6 p.m. Central Time. Um, every once in a while, I'll take a break from the live sales, like a take a day off, but um, make sure you stay tuned. Sunday and Monday, 6 p.m. Central Time for a fun vintage live sale. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the haul video. Um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.